Hello and welcome to Free Jackson 5, a series of brief interviews where you get to know your favorite New England players. Free Jackson 5 is brought to you by Arabella Insurance, the official home and auto insurance partner of the New England Free Jacks. I'm Dallas Stanford, former US Eagle and current World Rugby commentator. And in this episode, we spend five minutes or so with Jack Reeves from England, one of the new international backline signings who will represent the Free Jacks in Major League Rugby 2022. Top of the morning to you, Governor. <laughs> Hi, man. How are you? Good yourself. How's my English accent? Was it all right? I think you could do us some work to be fair, but you're getting, yeah. you're getting that good stuff. <laughs> well, listen, pal, how excited are you with your upcoming move to the US? And, and also, how did the opportunity present itself? Oh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm super excited. Yeah, well, basically, um, my contract was uh, running out with Gloss. Gloss, uh, and we just uh, just have a look. And uh, America, because of my Canadian passport, America had had a bit of interest from America. And then, luckily, uh, Gloss wanted to keep me, which I was uh, buzzing about. So I just, uh, so we just worked, for, worked things through. And as I'm not, not getting a super round of game time, they managed to sort out a uh, a loan deal where I could come over for six seven months, play some play some top quality rugby, and then uh, they can still keep hold of me for the uh, other part of the season. So it worked. It worked really really well, and I'm uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, it's a great deal. You get to play rugby all year round. You get to experience America, yeah. which is cool. So tell us a bit about your rugby background. You know, I know you're from the home of rugby, of course, England. Uh, yeah. But tell us how you caught the game growing up and also about representing England under 20. Yeah, so obviously my, when I was uh, little, my uh, dad brought me brought me to rugby from the age of like five years old. And then ever since then, I played it, uh, played it through to, to now. Uh, when I was about 16, I got picked up by the academy in Gloucester. Played 70s, 80s with them. Then signed my first uh, professional deal uh, after playing like England, England under 18s. Then first year, played a, I think two or three, two, I think I got two appearances for uh, England 20s. A few, few first team, handful of first team games for Gloucester. And then that brings us to the present day, really. So I've just been, yeah, I've gone through the whole pathway with, uh, with Gloucester Rugby and now looking at, looking at a new little, uh, new little chapter. Yeah, that's so great. And also you get a chance to team up with Harry Barlow, right? Tell us how you know him and, and will he be your tour guide when you come to Boston? I hope so. I've, uh, I've spoke to him, I've spoke to him a fair amount. He's, uh, he's let me know there's a lot to do. And I told him he's got to show, show me the ropes, show me around. Yeah, so I played England under 18s and England under 19s with him throughout all of the age group. I was playing against him, playing, yeah, playing with him. So yeah, we were we were quite quite good mates before uh, before this whole Boston thing. And uh, I seen him go over there a couple of years ago. He looked like he had a great time. He looked like he was loving his rugby. And yeah, so I think he's going to work quite well. He can show me around, show me show me the area. Yes, exactly. That's great, you know. Uh, and then, listen, how would you describe your style of play uh, and what are your favourite parts of the game? I, uh, I'd i say I just like the ball in my hands. So I like running with the ball. Uh, one of, I'd say, my like strongest attribute is one-on-ones of, one of against defenders. So I'm looking forward to getting, uh, getting a bit of space, getting some ball in the wide channel and uh, see, see what I can do. Good. That's very exciting because we know we know if Harry's in and a go by, you two linking up could be very very dangerous here, which is exciting to see. Let's touch on the family side of things. Do you have any siblings and any family members excel in sports? Yeah. Uh, so I got a little uh, got a little sister. She's uh, she's doing her own thing, uh, enjoying life at the minute. Uh, and then my dad, he used to he used to do a whole ton of sport. He's as he's from Canada, played Canadian football for Winnipeg. Came over to England and played uh, played rugby for Bristol. So uh, yeah, he's uh, he's quite a sportsman. He was quite the sportsman himself. So quite a good bit of family history there. And that's also how you qualify for Canada, as you said, which is great. You know, yeah. when you're not playing rugby, what sort of things do you get up to? I'm pretty uh, pretty social guy. So uh, don't like don't like spending too much time just by by myself. Uh, so whether that's going for like a going for a coffee, go exploring. So I think that's what. That's what I'm looking forward to about Boston. Be a big city, loads, loads of stuff to do. So hopefully make some good mates that we can explore the city with. Yeah, exactly. No, you, you'll have a good crew this side. A lot of new faces coming in. Um, but the best thing that I like about the Free Jacks too is that, you know, they look at the quality of the person that they're bringing in. And of course, yeah. everybody has the, the skill sets on the field, but it's about the people, which I think yeah. is great, you know. Now, is there a fact that not many people know about you? Well, let's think. Uh, maybe when I was... 
14, 15, 16. I won British medals in um, in judo. That's uh, that's probably oh. my. Oh, that's very cool. Helps your tackling technique as well, I bet. Plus, also, you know, if you happen yeah. to be in a, in a brawl, uh, you can pull out some extra tricks for us. Yeah, <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen. But uh, no, no, I'll be there. I'll be there for backup anyway. Not, not everybody has embarrassing moments. Is there anything you have on and off the field, uh, just even in your daily life? Yeah, I, was, I was looking around. I'm quite a, quite a clumsy boat. So I, when I was thinking about that question, uh, I thought I thought I could think of more, but. Not, not really. Just your normal, just your normal stuff. Just tripping up all the time, spilling the odd drink over myself. So I wouldn't say there's anything, no crazy story that comes to mind. Well, I'll give you advice. One of the players uh, here, when they went to the one of the baseball games, the Red Sox, the seats flick back up once you stand up, and he forgot about that and stood up, oh. cheered some play, sat down again, and fell down to the ground. So, seeing as you are clumsy, I'll give you a heads up on that one. <laughs> I'm sure that's happened to me before. <laughs> All right, final question for you. What excites you about joining Major League Rugby and playing for the Free Jacks? Well, I just think it's a whole whole new experience. I'll be uh, out of my comfort zone. Yeah, I'll be out of my comfort zone. A brand new city, brand new people. Uh, that's what excites me the most, being able to just play, hopefully play 20 games with a bunch of bunch of lads that I uh, haven't, haven't met yet. That's what, that's what I'm most excited about. Well, that's so great. And your name is in the branding as well. So, yeah. you know, so that's pretty great. Well, listen, we want to thank you for joining Free Jackson 5. Free Jackson 5 brought to you by our, our Berlin Insurance, the official home and auto insurance partner of the New England Free Jacks. Keep updated with the New England side at freejacks.com where it's always champagne rugby. Time to saddle up and let's ride. Let's ride.